So this is a what? A car something or another? CW9. Does it go vroom vroom? Sure. Get it? Because it's a car? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just aim on the guy on the right, see how tight you can hold a group. You are all over the place, good sir. Am I? A blazer, what kind of grain weight here? Probably 115. Yep, 115. Reliable first magazine. Everyone you miss, you miss low, but you got a lot of them there in the center. Pro tip, if you miss, it's because you have misaligned sights. <laughs> Thanks, Beard. <laughs> got two or three of them low there, a lot of them near that bolt, but the two you miss, you went low. Did I? Yanking it. Shoot it until our hands are tired. <laughs> that's, that's a good one, Beard. You want me to try some of the smaller ones? Yeah, see if you can work all four of those plates back and forth. I don't know, you tell me. So the idea here is, so drop the magazine, and do some dry fire stuff here. So drop the slide, go ahead and aim at that far left plate. And what I want you to do is, every time you're firing, you're re-gripping with this hand, just keep it held as tight as you can. Don't grip with that hand and just do a nice trigger pull. Yeah, see how you had hesitated? You, you dripped your hands down. So go ahead and keep the trigger pulled to the rear. Nope, pull the trigger, keep your gun up. Keep the gun there, just move your left hand. Don't move your right hand at all. Move your left hand, cock the gun. You're moving the gun. Don't move the gun, there you go. Cock it. Okay, now release till you feel that reset. Let the trigger out, there you go. So now you do that about 10 times so you get used to the trigger. Keep the trigger pulled all the way back, cycle it. Keep the trigger all the way back. No, pull it back, there you go, cycle the slide. Feel the reset. It's a long time. Yes, it is. That's that's the problem. You didn't know where the reset was earlier. See how you dri dipped your sights? You're yanking it with that right hand. So dry fire it about 10 times. I'll watch you. And we'll resume shooting. So the idea of this, folks watching at home, is so you know where the reset is so you don't end up yanking the trigger. It's not really a necessity to shoot to reset, but it's good to know where it is, and that's why you should dry fire your gun before you shoot it. Yep, those last five are good. Now just do that with live ammo. <laughs> <laughs> Easier said than done. And just work that left man size target. Uh -oh. Don't pull it all the way. Huh? Just slightly pull and let go. Now, oh. your magazine not seated. Huh? Weird. Just work that uh, man size target on the left. Try and hold a nice tight group on it. Not bad. Got two of them that were off, but most of them are grouped right about yay, center low. Do another one there, Super Chief. And basically, you don't want to worry about where it's hitting. Just make sure the front sight's where it is, where it needs to be before you pull the trigger, and it should go where you want it to go.
Don't look for your hits. Look for the front sight. Oh, I was, about, I was about to commend you for not breaking your grip that whole time and you yanked the last one. I did. Oh well. Alright Beard, run this bad boy. God, that reset so far. Dainty little magazine. Yes, this thing is itty bitty. <laughs> Almost yanked that last one. Yep. That's because I didn't let the trigger out all the way. Yep. Because that is really. <laughs> Really long. Yeah, show so, them the reset there, Beard. Turn <laughs> let's your show over. it for the folks at home. We're not there yet. <laughs> Still not there. Still not there. There it is. <laughs> that is pretty preposterous. Once again for Grandma. Wow. That's pretty crazy. That reminds me of the Sky CPX2 with the reset being all the way out. I'll run the plates. Get that other one? Yep. Bad. I mean, it's not a terrible gun. Just it's that trigger leaves something to be desired. It certainly doesn't feel cheap. It's just the trigger's like, eh. Yeah, the trigger is disgusting. I'll give them a look at the sights here. It's pretty, pretty typical. What would be traditionally three dot sight instead of the two dots in the back, they've got a nice center ridge. They're kind of like, they remind me of a PT-111 because you got to bury that front sight in the rear notch. But overall, it's not a, not a bad little gun. I'll give it, I'll give it a couple pews here. Do it for the vine. Do it for the vine. Uh oh. Magazine seated. That oh. was live. It's not, not even centered. <laughs> it's not even centered. Oopsie poopsie. She'll perform. Click and no bang. Uh oh. Uh oh, I touched it, Beard. <laughs> I touched it, it's broken. Click and no bang. Same thing, not centered. Even still, well, it helps if I actually get that in frame. That's Jesus a Remington Christ. ammo. No, say it ran blazer, no problem. Now it's you having problems with Remington. So... Wow, you do a great job, camera. You do a great job, kid. Just zoom out. It doesn't need to be that far in. There you go. Yeah. I gotta get nice and close up on it. All right, this Click is the no bang. this is the fl flinch catcher. <laughs> Same thing. All right, so let's uh, let's see if this magazine runs. There we go. Oh, not that one. Same thing, not centered. That one went. All right, so interesting. I've, this is a, this is new for me. I've never seen anything like this. Let's see if it does the Glock thing. Oh, it does the Glock thing. <laughs> this is definitely the flinch catcher. <laughs> Uh, same thing, click and no bang. Click and no bang. Oh, I flinched that time. Yeah, you did. Huh. Uh. Click and no bang. It's because I'm limp wristing it. 
That's what it is. <laughs> All right. All right, so let's switch to different ammo. Yeah, I'll go See inside. that Remington stuff. I'll go inside, grab some different ammo. What are they? So these are Hornady Custom 124s. So this has got an XTR tip on it, or not tip, hollow point. And then in this other box, I've got five of the critical defense. Well, no, that's not critical defense. Some of the critical defenses here with the flex tip. So I'll let you guys run some of those hollow points, see if it's going to run hollow points. All right, so first we're running the critical defend from Hornady. Give those a go, see how, it ha how, see how she works. Out. So try the other mag. Out. So here's the ammo that wasn't running, and here is a gun with 11,000 rounds through it. It's got 11,000 strikes on the striker, plus probably 20,000 dry fire. So if this gun doesn't run it, it's the ammo. All right, so we got three on top here that already have a strike from the car. <laughs> vroom, vroom. <laughs> it's just a silly name. You and think then, you're so funny. And then there's 15 rounds of fresh stuff underneath. Sorry, bro, it's your gun. <laughs> yeah. So grab the other ones just to be sure. Okay. <sighs> this is what I do testing. Here's the two. Here's two of them. All right. There's one right there by your foot. Huh. Three more. Uh, I think that's all of them. Yeah, I think that's it. Oh, there's one. Uno mas. It's weird that it strikes them at the bottom of the rim or the bottom of the primer. Well, actually, go ahead. Wait, save one of those. We'll put it back in, see if it restrikes. Go for headshots here. Oh, right over his head. There we go. If you quit yanking it, you might hit the target. It went over the top. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> put it in there, see if it'll work. <laughs> it flinched like crazy. Yeah, it's your gun, bro. <laughs> Unfortunate. Well, so yeah, take a look at her. Bring her over here. Yeah, I want to see if this has two definitive strikes now. Oh, yeah, look at that. That looks like you hit it in the center. I think that striker is misaligned. Oh, you fucking whore. I think the striker might be a little bit undersized in the channel, and it's not oh, yeah. hitting them straight. That's dead center on it. As close as you can get to dead center. <laughs> and now we take the clapped out gun, <laughs> and we take... Said round with two dimples in it. And then it didn't lock the slide open, but it's a new recoil spring. But yeah, it's a gun. Unfortunate. It's your gun, bro. <laughs> oh. So our next hollow points for the hollow point madness, we have some federal hollow points there. And then we've got some preview partisan. They're both 124 grain hollow points. We'll run all these through it, see if it'll cycle the hollow points. It's always good to run your hollow points because you want to make sure you're carrying a, a uh, projectile that your gun can actually feed because you don't want a failure to feed when you actually need it. Hollow points. Get it, girl. Don't yank it this time. I saw you yank it from like 50 yards away. <laughs> All right, rack it out. Yeah. Uh, and this is the Federal, and there you see a light primer strike. So, yeah, this is going to be warranty serviced. All right, drop that mag, see if this first round will feed into it. Just use the slide release for this one. There you go, that one ran. Oh, 
Yeah, hey, you yanked that one. Yeah, my friend, I would say uh, I would call it quits for the day unless you just want to keep shooting, which is fine. But I would definitely uh, send this video to them and get warranty return service. Because what I'm thinking is in that channel, I think the striker is a little bit unaligned. So when it strikes, it's like dipping up and down and there's too much friction. And there's not enough chooch to set off every round. Mm -hmm. So I'm guessing that's what's wrong with it. So enjoy your uh, nylon holster, sir. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Some light. No, you can see it. It's uh, the striker is lower than the hole that they have in the slide. You can see it's just not quite aligned in there. So zoom in a little bit more. Oh yeah, you can definitely tell on the camera. It is the hole that they bored in it is like half a millimeter high into the left of the center line of the oh, striker. Oh Jesus! <laughs> I was right. Yeah, that's uh, way off. So, so you're not going to get anywhere near enough chooch to actually press it as hard as it needs to. And that's probably, it's probably striking side. high on the primer, and that's probably why it's not hitting center all the time. So I think he's going to get a whole new gun out of this. Cargo from vroom. vroom. <laughs>